Mike Stevens with Snowplow News talking with Josiah Nimala on the Buzz Box. So Josiah, can you tell us uh, what you have here, what it's about, and why you did it? Yeah, so it's our answer, you know, in the snow and uh, ice industry to uh, the V-Box spreader, you know. So a guy right now basically wants a stainless V-Box around two yard spreader. He's anywhere from four to six grand, you know, four to six thousand dollars. And uh, it's not doing anything for him eight months out of the year, right? Um, so it's sitting out in the back lot. He's got to find a place to store it. Here we got 2400 bucks. That's your spreader, right? So the whole unit is 69.90, right? And that's you're, you're using 45.95 of that all year round. You know, unloading mulch, topsoil, sand, gravel, whatever it is, right? And the only thing that you see here that's seasonal is that hopper. So the back, about a foot of an eight-foot unit, you know. Okay. Um, and then also we got different attachments: a wood chipper, leaf vac, and uh, sideboard kits for your mulch. So you can extend the capacity about four yards, and. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're excited about our new product, and uh, so far it's been received well. All right, could you explain how it works? Uh, for instance, uh, if we take a look at this side over here, I yep. see a few spikes coming out. So what's the purpose of this, and is it bag salt, bulk salt? What are you guys doing there? Yeah, so here you could leave it in if you're running bulk salt, um, but it's intended for bag. So it's a live bed, so when you're loading up, you bring that bulkhead all the way forward, and you stack in seven bags of salt. And then, uh, so you go seven across and you'll get seven deep, right? So you go seven by seven, you got 49 bags. It's a whole pallet of salt, right? And then you close your hopper. These will fold underneath the belt. And then you're in your cab uh, spreading salt. So when you're ready, you hit unload. You got in cab control. The bag will leave the belt, get pierced by the spike, which holds it up off of the auger. And then there'll be a razor blade in each one of these blade holders. And that slices the bottom of the bag. Okay. Um, so then your empty bag sitting on the spike and the incoming row will just compress that empty bag further onto the spike. Gotcha. Good.